Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Grace. On this channel we talk about how to live your best intentional happy life but in a realistic way because you know shit happens life is life it's hard <laughs> like this week i recently started my minimalism journey i guess this is another update video i feel like all i'm posting about is minimalism right now because i feel like it's consuming my entire mind it is really overwhelming. I mean, I knew that it wasn't going to be like easy going into it, but I'm just going to update you guys on life as a very fresh minimalist, like just diving in and uh, just take you along with me over the next day or two, um, kind of getting my house prepped and ready for family to come over for Thanksgiving. So anyways, I'm going to start this video vlog update thing, piggybacking off of another vlog that I did the other week where I cut my hair and then got locked out of my house for 11 hours. I was gonna like dye my hair in that video, but then I didn't but I'm gonna do it now because feeling Chaotic all right. I have my gloves as you can see my haircut turned out pretty great I mean my hair is really chaotic right now, but it doesn't look bad Just the color is like so uneven. There's like two different tones. It's kind of like orangey and yellowy at the same time I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. Just kind of want it to be one color. I'm breaking out an eczema right now. <laughs> so it's probably not a great time to do this, but it's not like heavy duty dye. It's just like a gloss. So let's get into it. Anyways, what was I talking about before with minimalism? The thing about minimalism is when you start, you're like, oh yeah, feeling good on top of the world. And then the second that you're like, you've completely decided to take the leap, your stuff starts freaking you out. I feel overwhelmed and nearly disgusted by the amount of stuff that I have all the time. But at the same time, when push comes to shove and you're like an inch away from getting rid of it, it's like, Mm, I'm gonna have to come back to that because sometimes you like lose the guts to do it or you rationalize why you need to keep it So I mean obviously like I've said in all of my other videos Minimalism and getting rid of things is a lot more emotional than people think I'm still falling trapped to all these things and obviously the mindset change doesn't like magically just like flip a switch and it's different and you're like, oh, I'm ready to just get rid of all my stuff. So I feel like the first session or stage of minimalism is really just like getting rid of all of the things that are actually completely not even visible to the eye, like on a daily basis, because I feel like I have done so much decluttering already and it feels almost exactly the same in my apartment. I don't feel like I have even gotten rid of anything, even though realistically I've donated and gotten rid of a lot. I think the thing that people don't necessarily readily tell you about minimalism is the fact that it is so ongoing. I like started my minimalism journey a few weeks ago and I feel like every single waking moment of the day i'm thinking about okay well what else can i declutter and what else can i get rid of like sometimes in a day the only thing that i declutter is old receipts or expired food or whatever and that seems trivial i guess in the grand scheme of things but it's all part of it and it's not just like one of those things where like after you get rid of two bags of clothes you feel like oh my gosh my whole life is amazing and it's better. You get rid of two bags of clothes and then you're just like, oh, I still have so many more, like what am I doing? So it's kind of just like a constant thing at the back of your head and a lot of people commented on my last video or reached out to me after the last video and they were like, oh my gosh, I did this yesterday but I'm still going or I did this and I'm not even done yet and I'm like, honestly same, like I posted a whole ass YouTube video about it and I'm still 
in the process of getting rid of all this stuff. Like I posted that video and I was still decluttering after I posted it. I had only done like that much decluttering. I was using those questions myself and I'm like, okay, like let's get it together. It's just, it's all the stuff. There's a lot of things that you have to think about and there's so many things that we own and so many things that we don't need to own. <sighs> and I don't know, it's just really stressful and overwhelming. And I didn't expect to be this overwhelmed so early in the process, but at the same time, I kind of did in a way. You have to really prepare yourself for a huge emotional roller coaster and for it to kind of just be at the back of your mind like all the time. So yeah, it's just been a really wild adjustment period so far. Anyways, I have to go wash out this stuff from my hair now because I look crazy. Okay, I'm back and my hair is darker. Woo, nice. It's still a little wet, so you can't really see the full effect. But anyways, well, I was doing some more thinking as I was like putting on lotion and stuff. There are definitely a few things that I have still that I'm going to use now, but then after I finish using them, I will not be repurchasing them. So I think that's part of the like journey to minimalism or whatever, realizing the things that may serve you for a short period of time yet and then won't serve you in the future. Um, there's also a couple of things that I had that I was like, you know what? I'm just not gonna use these and they are just straight up clutter at this point in my life. So it's kind of just finding a balance between the things that are straight up clutter and the things that are in your life as like excess things that are just adding to the stuff that you have to take care of and deal with on a daily basis that you don't have to bring into the next season of your life, if that makes sense. But anyways, I'm gonna paint my nails now, let them dry while I'm in my therapy session, and then after that, I'm gonna make some lunch and then go thrifting. Stay tuned for that because it's a weak spot for me because I, like I said, am a recovering shopaholic and I'm definitely a recovering emotional hoarder as well. I have to go to get in a few things that I actually need need and it's gonna be rough because the last time that I went I bought a bunch of stuff I think half of the things that I bought at that thrift store I like were once maybe and then I donated half of those things I'm back from my errands and I got flip a bully stick so he is enjoying the heck out of that right now and I got this painting Anyways, it's gonna go over this because <laughs> we can't actually patch it yet because we have more electric work to do. So then if we patched it, we'd be patching it and then ripping it open again and then patching it again and then ripping it open again. So in terms of decluttering, I think I've essentially done everything that needs to be done in my room besides like obviously Ray's stuff, but that's not my stuff to declutter so i've pretty much gone through all of my stuff i just have like the junk drawer to deal with my sheets and stuff and i have to go through the kitchen and the bathroom so the kitchen it's a shared kitchen and i don't own most of the things in the kitchen so i can't actually declutter 95 percent of the things in the kitchen so i'm just gonna be reorganizing the kitchen essentially and um, getting rid of extra like food clutter or food waste or whatever and just like things that are mismatched or there's extras and sorry about my dog chewing on this bully stick <laughs> in the background. But anyways, um, I'm just gonna drink this boba that I got. Um, so excited about it and uh, watch some YouTube and then maybe a movie. I will see you guys tomorrow. I got some flowers, some spider mums, he said, and some baby's breath. Uh, I used to work at a flower store and um, definitely these were way cheaper than they should have been, which is kind of exciting. He's sniffing the bag because I also got him some dog treats, so. Emergency, um, I have to go get some dinner plates because there's only three in this apartment, so. I have to go get more because we're about to have Thanksgiving with five people and uh, there's only three dinner plates. So I'm gonna go 
get some dinner plates really quickly. Hey y'all, I'm back from the store and I'm gonna do a haul now. <laughs> uh, okay, so I got three wine glasses because we don't have any wine glasses in this apartment. And I am a person that does enjoy drinking wine every so often. I got these two large-ish bowls because Ray and I love to eat ramen. And all of our cereal bowls are actually too small. So this is like the perfect size for that. I also got two dinner plates. They're like the flat ones. I think they're super cool. I'm very excited about it. Um, what else did I get? A pie crust and some coconut milk because I'm gonna make the pumpkin pie and those are the only two ingredients that I didn't have yet. I also got some six point not sponsored beer. This is our favorite one that we get. And some Jack's cider not sponsored. Um, delicious, also very good. Just to have some stuff for people to enjoy. And yeah, it's just about two or three hours until everyone gets here, but I think we're gonna make it happen, people. Okay, so I just realized that I didn't add an outro to this video, I'm about to edit. Um, but anyways, everything went great, family time was super fun, everything was cleaned and ready by the time they got here. I had my nice little flowers and everything, and there's like little flowers everywhere. Um, so yeah. It was really fun and the food was delicious and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm super excited to start getting some other videos out there because uh, Ray and I have a huge trip to New Zealand planned. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing some packing and stuff. So get ready for all that and some more minimalism videos in the near future. And until next video, I am sending you all my love.